What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Last Wraps Baseball video. Today it is day four of our 2020 BBM box break. We've done three videos in a row and we've broken a quarter of the box up and uh, been taking a peek at the different stuff that we've been able to pull. And today it's our final uh, quarter of the box and our last portion of the box uh, to open. And so what we pulled over the last uh, couple of days, we pulled a Shota Dobiashi card, a DJ Johnson newcomer card. Uh, and then, of course, we've got a Greek contributors card from uh, Kyohei uh, Nakamura. And, um, you know, we've got some other interesting stuff. And, of course, the autograph card, which is kind of cool. So today we got five more packs to go. We're going to break our last five and see what we're able to come up with. And then just as in the last three days we've struggled getting open the pack so we're gonna do get out our trusty scissors and give ourselves a little snip and then we're gonna uh break the uh the pack open from there these they've got this lock tight it's pretty hard to get into um but uh definitely uh definitely stuff that we're gonna try to do so uh we've got uh, yuta nakamura yuta nakamura is our first card out of the pack and then we have a makoto uh kemna Koto Kemna. Our next card is uh, Aaron Curry. Aaron Curry. And uh, we have a rookie in Hiroto Suzuki. And we have a uh, insert card. Our first insert card of Yusuke Nomura. And it's an insert autograph insert. And for those of you who are looking, what's the difference between this autograph and that autograph? That one of Dobayashi is a real autograph. For some reason, the Japanese, they really like to have these printed. So this is a, this is actually a parallel card. And I don't think this one is numbered. This is a not, oh yeah, it is numbered out of 50. And so this particular player here has a numbered parallel card. And it usually sells for maybe twice the price. Uh, well, depending on who the player is, sometimes two or three times more or even more on the, uh, on the fake auto. I know I had a... Um, uh, a Shogo Akiyama uh, card uh, that we flipped for maybe about five times the price, the new Cincinnati Red Outfielder uh, parallel somebody bought off of us. And then uh, you have a uh, Shosei Nakamura a catcher card, and then we're back to the top again. So the uh, insert parallel of the fake autograph um, is something that people uh, seem to, uh, to like and collect, but it's not the real one like we have in the background. But cool nonetheless. So we've got ourselves our first uh, parallel that looks like that in the set. I would assume that would be a very difficult set to put together because it looks like you're only going to get one, maybe two per box um, on average. So you'd have to have to really go to hunt to get those ones uh, for sure. Okay, here comes pack number two. Pack number two, we start off with a Ryoma Nishikawa infielder for the carp. And, and there is another one of those Alejandro Maia. We pulled one of those uh, yesterday. And there is a Ri, Ritaro Hat, Hatsuki, another infielder card. And then a uh, Yoshinuki uh, Ishihara catcher. And we got another one of the Red Hot inserts. And so our Red Hot guy this time is Nishikawa, Ryoma Nishikawa, the infielder. I believe we just pulled out of this pack here a few minutes ago. And we got a newcomer card, Masato uh, Morishita, and the pitcher, of course, a rookie. And so I don't know all the details on this guy. I'll have to get out my trusty Google Translator and pull it together. But those of you who want to pause the video who speak and understand Japanese will know what that says on the back. And, of course, there is Nishikawa as well. So not only do we have Nishikawa there... We got Nishikawa in the uh, Red Hot selection. So two Ryoma Nishikawas in the same pack. All right, we've got uh, three more packs to go today. Three more packs left. So here comes pack number three in our uh, event. And it's like on the back side, we've got... Uh, Got a Latin player, which uh, is going to be good. So, hey, we're on a roll. Ryoma Nishikawa, three in a row, three pack or two in the last pack, and then we got the Supreme Glory card in this one. Uh, and now we have Takuya Yazaki, a pitcher, 
And then we have Seiya Suzuki, outfielder. And uh, Takudo Nakajima, an infielder. And there's Jose uh, Perella. Jose Perella making an appearance here. And then we have uh, Geronimo uh, Franzua. I don't know Franzua. Obviously, Perella is the one we were talking about yesterday who uh, played last year with the Ended the, ended the season with the Phillies, but he spent the last four or five years in the San Diego organization and broke in with the Yankees. And uh, probably the most pedigree of uh, anybody, of any of the players that we've, uh, uh, the uh, North American players that have come over to uh, to play, certainly guys with big league service time. Well, we got two more packs to go, and let's see what we can end up coming, coming up with. Um, Obviously, our success rate has been uh, fairly decent and, you know, fairly satisfied with what we've been able to pull. So here comes our next one. There's the manager again. We already had this fella, so Shinji Sasaoka. Uh, Minoru Omori, I remember, I remember seeing him before. I just don't know if it was on a regular card. I've definitely had Aaron Curry. We've definitely had this guy both in the uh, that and in the uh, the insert, the uh, Aizawa, the catcher, and now we got another red hot card. And who do we have this time? Uh, Saya Suzuki, red hot, and yes, he is red hot. And there is Taylor Scott, one of our other newcomers. So we haven't had a Taylor Scott yet, and he's definitely a newcomer, new to the uh, new to the carp. I don't know if he's new to the uh, to league. Looks like uh, last year they gave some major league stats. He was with Baltimore and uh, Seattle last year at the big league level. And being close to Seattle, I don't remember seeing him, although they did run through a pile of pitchers last year. And, of course, he was in AAA with, uh, with Seattle and Texas, and he AA with Milwaukee and started with the Cubs. So he's, he's been around a bit, but that's, uh, that's Taylor, Taylor Scott looking to extend his career uh, in Japan, and now we're down to our last pack, and so I think we've seen all the all the big guys that we wanted to get. I don't know what this one's going to hold for us. Maybe we got a little bit of fire at the end. Maybe we got another uh, another uh, insert or another uh, um, autograph type of card. But uh, let's see what our last uh, our last pack is going to bring us. And it starts off with. Ah, Ryosuke Kikuchi, the Supreme Glory card. Obviously, anytime you can get a Kikuchi, he's probably their, arguably their biggest name player. And then we've got a Yoshiyuki uh, Ishihara catcher card. We've had him before. We've also had Takoda before, Hiroki Takoda. I remember him. I don't remember this guy. That's Takeyoshi Noma. And uh, Tomahiro Abi or Abe. And there is Yuya Shozui. I don't remember seeing him before. And of course, now we're back to the top for our supreme glory of Ryosuke Kikuchi. Well, everybody, that'll do it for our 2020 BBM Hiroshima Carp. And uh, if you like the video, uh, please be sure to give us a thumbs up. If you are new here, uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, come on back. We got some other stuff, uh, especially Japanese stuff. Um, there are some Japanese videos out there, but most of the Japanese videos are done in Japanese. And so unless you understand Japanese, uh, it makes it kind of difficult. So, you know, hopefully you can come take a look and see what we're uh, cracking here. We've got the, some stuff coming up with the Murray Giants. We have some of the BBM version one uh, coming up. And we also have Epic. Uh, which is another company that produces uh, in uh, in Japan as well. So I'm going to do a little recap. I'm going to do a recap of what we got, 100 card set with inserts, find out exactly how it breaks down, uh, and are we going to get a full set out of this? I don't think we are. I think we've got quite a few dupes in here that are going to prevent us from getting the full set of 100 cards, but certainly we have some inserts that are kind of cool to look at, and uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully uh, you've enjoyed these videos. Once again, everybody, thanks again for watching. We hope you have a great day. This has been another Last Wraps Baseball video production. So here's the final breakdown. This set has 81 cards. We got 73 of the 81 base. There were nine inserts and one autograph pulled and a lot of doubles of the base. Anyways, it was a fun break. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching.